it's another frigid morning. Um, the sun is up, but it is, I think last time I checked, one degree, zero degrees, something like that. It's pretty cold. Um, but the lift is here, so it's time to get some work done. Um, gonna start hanging LVLs today and the last of the girts that I have. So um, it's supposed to warm up to like 30 today. The sun's supposed to be out. So everything's frozen right now. It's kind of icy, but the good thing is uh, it'll start to melt, but also to doing this early enough where everything is ice, this uh, lift won't destroy the ground. So, um, but we have this for the week, um, but it's supposed to get a bunch of rain end of this week. So if it's not one thing, it's another, it seems like. But let's see what I can get done today. Uh, putting these LVLs up. It should go fairly easy. It's just a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down. So we'll see if this lift fires up. Um, hopefully it does. And then we'll get started. That's fun. Okay, the first LVL goes on the second post in and then ends on the fourth post. It's a 20 footer. So what I'm gonna do is 
I have to unload it because of course it's on the bottom. So I gotta unload all the other ones. But I'm gonna shoot it over and then kind of bring it back. And then I can climb up there and nail it. So that'll all make sense once we get it up there, if that doesn't make sense now. But uh, it should go should go pretty smoothly. So I'll get all these unloaded and then we'll we'll start. So the first one's not as easy because we got that pallet of stuff there, so I kind of got to go at an angle, but it's up there. So once I get up there, I can slide it this way a little bit and then we'll nail it in and hopefully it's that easy. All right, hopefully this picks up on camera. I know the sun's in a bad spot, but I'm trying to hang off the girts here and record this. Uh, I had a guy reach out via email uh, and put this drawing up, show it on the screen. Uh, so I kind of modified it a little bit um, but I never thought of this. So Thomas, thank you for this idea. I think it's going to work great. There's no mark on the inside. Forgot about that. So I'm gonna add that mark and then uh, so I know where it needs to go. And then we'll fasten it the rest of the way. Alright, so I pulled out the ladder. I'm not feeling climbing girts all day today. So we got a mark. Now we should be able to start working along. But I guess my mark's on the other side. I suppose that's how today's gonna go.
lot of nails. Man, today is rough. All right, so I gotta cut that one, uh, but it's really hard to measure 20 foot spans by myself. So I just pop it up there, pop one nail in it, I'll cut it straight up, and then we can put the next one on. I got this one in here, set it in the little uh, holder at the top over there. And then I gotta pull this nail on this side from where I put the first beam in, but it should work out pretty good. This is a 16 footer, and then we got a 20 footer on the end. So I get up there, pull that nail out. We can pull this over, nail it in, go to the next one and work our way down. This front side is definitely the hardest with all the stuff in the way. We got this temporary power pole, all of our equipment, or all of our materials. So um, that little brace up there makes a world of difference. I don't think I'd be doing this if not for that brace. It's a game changer. So uh, this one will get slid over. I'll fasten it in, we'll cut it. And then I got two small ones on the ends. And then, then we can do the front. complain that it's too hot but I guess I gotta deal with it. This is a 20 footer, we got a 16 and then another 20 and then just the two end caps but I'm gonna wait on the two end caps um, for now. We can do them afterwards. So I gotta cut that and then we'll put the next 16 footer and then 20 footer.
All right, the front corner is done now. The only one I have left is all the way down there, which is gonna be super close to having enough. So I'm gonna go back to the back and work on that. Okay, we got the inside one on. I'm gonna do the outside one. And then um, the plans call for a 14, an 18, a 16, and an 18. But I'm gonna switch them because the 16 is gonna be super close here and I'd rather have the extra. So I'm gonna go uh, 14, 18, 16, 18. Then it's not gonna make a difference. Um, so I'm just gonna set this up on time-lapse and try to burn through this as quick as I can. consider that one because it's four foot so this one's 18 foot and then we'll have to cut on the side over there and then the garage um, the garage gets two by 12s it doesn't get LVL so that'll butt into that and then the truss will sit on uh, on that two by 12 for the gable end on the house garage side three nail short so we'll get those and then I think I'm gonna continue on see if I can't get some of the garage done that should be easier two by twelves are slightly easier to move around than these LVLs even though they're the same size it feels like two by twelves a little bit lighter so it's shaping up that's for sure all right so the garage is on the outside double two by twelves so there's one that lines up with the LVL and then one underneath it. And then on the inside, there's just one two by 12. So, uh, and it's the same thing on the front side um, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, uh, must be something to do with engineering. I would guess a two by 12 is enough to support the truss or it would probably be easier if I just ran LVLs all the way across, but that's what they sent. That's what the plans call for. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna bore you too much with the same thing, just sticking the lift through, come back nailing it. So um, I'll get the top course on and then we'll pick this back up when I do the bottoms. Uh, not that that's much different, but that's what we'll do. Well, we got the first course up and I got the first one on the outside, uh, but we're gonna call it cause it's getting late. Sun's setting, gotta do some chores, cook dinner. So uh, we will pick this up bright and early tomorrow, finish off these two by 12s on the front and the back. Luckily it's not too crazy. Put the girts on and then hopefully we can set some trusses pretty soon after. So we'll pick this up in the morning.
That spacer would have saved a lot of time yesterday. So, live and learn, I guess. I'm guessing when we build our shop, it'll be a lot quicker. We'll put the ones on the bottom over here. And they'll move around the front. Like I said, I think I gotta cut off the ones on the front uh, and redo those, but I'll measure with that spacer and then we'll see see where we're at. But um, the bottom course is easy. We're just gonna take it and butt it up to the to the one that's already there. So, and then it's only on the outside. On the front, it's on the inside as well for the garage door header. But they don't go, it doesn't run the whole length, it just runs say eight foot for the width of the garage doors. All right, so that's all there is to it. It just butts up to it. I gotta cut off that other one. It looks like I'm gonna be short one 16 footer. Uh, so I'll have to run to the store later and get that. But uh, just work our way down and get the rest of them done. All right, I got the uh, two by 12s cut off that were up there. Um, and I'm gonna be short, I think right now two 16 footers one for the back and then one for the front but i gotta get all these put on first and then i'll go go to the store and get those and then put them on probably first thing tomorrow morning so um this is gonna be the same as the back so i'll set this up on time lapse we'll bust this out real quick and then i will move on from there okay we got all the boards up that we can i just got to trim the two 14 footers on the front over here and then I don't like the connection between the house. Um, we bought these buildings, the materials for these buildings, with the intentions of putting them together. But the engineer, who or the designer, designed them kind of as two separate buildings, which works for some stuff, but not for others. He no longer works for that company, and I've talked to the owner of the company, and I guess he just wasn't doing the right thing. So we kind of run into some issues, but. I'm gonna add in a two by six on that side. Um, I'll zoom in on it so you can see it, but uh, I'll add a two by six there to kind of give me more peace of mind. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but um, I just don't like it, so I'm gonna fix that. Um, so I gotta cut the two 14 footers over here, and then I gotta, that's where I'm gonna install the 16 footers that I'm short. So that gets two 16 foot headers there. And then on the back side, the bottom gets one 16 foot header. I installed the last header on the house. So I'll run to the store tonight after dinner and baby goes down and all that. Uh, I'll run later tonight and get the materials we need from Lowe's. Um, and then we just gotta do the headers on the inside for the garage doors. So those call for 10 foot um, just to span across the door, but I think I'll run 16s just to give it more support. So um, I got a couple grade boards to install. And then we got uh, one, two, three, four, two by four girts on the top to hold the trusses up. And then I'm pretty sure we're ready for trusses. So um, tomorrow will be trusses. Tomorrow for us, it won't be tomorrow for you guys. But um, yeah, so we are almost ready for trusses and then it'll start looking like a house. So uh, that's probably where I'll end this video. Uh, and then we'll pick back up with trusses in the next video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next video.